Hi everybody, this is Rosa Sharon and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently watched Central Park season three and subsequent seasons were really quite good. And I think this is the best season yet because we're introduced to Abby, who is um, <clears throat> Paige's sister. And Abby looks up to Paige quite a bit. And I relate to Abby because, you know, I'm from the Midwest. So, I mean, I understand her motivation. And it's just it's so interesting to see how she views her aunt, or I mean her sister, and just how she feels Paige has everything all together. And Paige admits that sometimes she doesn't. <laughs> so just to see her own sister be vulnerable with her, I, I thought was um, really refreshing. They had a lot of good topics covered this season. Um, there was one that was more fluff than anything. It had a Korean band called Money Candy. But that actually was a pretty good episode. I, I enjoyed that one. Even though it didn't really feel, feel like it um, bolstered the plot any. I think that was just there just, just to be fun and have some really good Korean pop music. Um, the songs this season were spectacular. Um, I think that eventually Helen is going to, um, have her, have her just desserts. I think Bitsy's going to get what's coming to her. Uh, I really don't know what else to say about this particular season of, of Central Park. I don't know where they're going with a plot to be honest, because it feels like the Tillermans are moving up in the world. Um, they had a really sweet episode where they helped Louie out, which I think that might have been my favorite, though I really like um, the the plot where um, Bitsy and Helen are, are trying to find someone to, um, to mold, and just the the song person to worsen was one of my absolute favorites just because it had so many Hamilton vibes to it. And the, and the rapping was just superior. Same thing with, uh, you can't clone champagne when, um, um, Bitsy was trying to make a decision whether she wanted to clone it, clone her dog or not. And Helen was praying that she wouldn't because that meant that would mean that the inheritance would not be going to her but to the other champagnes however many infinite number of champagnes there were but then Bitsy realized that Helen's um logic was actually infallible as per usual and she had a good uh, refutal on why she shouldn't be cloning champagne and <laughs> of course she came up with some highfalutin um superior holier than thou kind of uh rhetoric where she said they're going to clone champagne with a uh, surrogate mama from brooklyn and i thought <laughs> and then she said at least i will not have have um a clone from brooklyn or where is it you're from again weehawken yeah weehawken <laughs> I'm like, come on, that's kind of mean to people from Jersey, because I, I, my surrogate brother's from Jersey originally, and my best friend, my sister, surrogate sister's from Jersey, so I wish they'd stop that. <laughs> but I, I really liked the season. I thought it was extremely well done. I don't know where they're going to take it next season, but sky's the limit, because, I mean, it, it didn't really end on a cliffhanger per se but it left the viewers who who love the show wanting more i just don't know where they're going to take the plot that's the only thing um i read up on it and i i think they're going to green light another season so that's a good thing they're going to keep it going because i think it has potential i i love it just like i love bob bob's burgers so that's about all i have to say happy boxing day everybody live on prosper ciao titi